Okay, good morning. 12.16 in the morning, 42.6 degrees on the final day of May, day 58. I'm waking up. All right, good morning. It's 1.52 in the morning, 26.3 degrees. So I think that earlier reading must have been somewhat mistaken. My pack was in my tent. And so perhaps it was picking up some of my body heat as well. But 26.3, that's what it's saying now. Um, and again, just a few minutes before 2, so we're just kind of finishing getting all of our stuff packed up, hoping to be walking at 2 in just a few minutes. Um, man, last night, so we were all in our tents, and there's kicked up a little spat of grapple. Interesting meteorological uh, phenomenon, which usually portends pretty big storms in my experience. Um, so grapple started pouring down and it seemed like it might get kind of messy. Some thunder kicked up, but luckily nothing happened. It just kind of subsided and it was a pretty calm night. So that was nice. Um, plan for today, get as far as we can per usual. Uh, should be putting ourselves in spitting distance of Forester Pass for first thing tomorrow morning. Um, but it looks like in a mile and a half or so we'll have our first pretty wet ford, uh, pretty wet crossing of the of the Sierra section, and that's going to be uh, Whitney Creek. So that'll be in about a mile and a half. Reports say that it's about waist deep on a tall fella. So we'll see. There had been reports of a snow bridge, but that was like a few weeks ago, and it seems like that's gone now. So we're going to have to get down there and see, see what it looks like, um, try and see if we can get across as safely as possible. Uh, oh, I think... I think this is my first morning waking up in the National Park too, so this is Kings Canyon and Sequoia National Park that we're in now, which is pretty exciting. Um, also, we'll be crossing Whitney today. I don't think, regrettably, um, regrettably, I don't think we're going to be going up Whitney. Um, everyone in the party is very excited to uh, to go up Whitney, but then this winter happened, and it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a super prudent decision to try and get up Mount Whitney uh, in this in these sorts of conditions in the Sierra. So. Um, unfortunately, we're going to be skipping past it this morning, but uh, still be hopefully kind of cool to see it anyway. So that's all I got for now. I'm going to finish packing up and we'll get on our way shortly.
All right, it is 1044 and what was it? It says 54.2 degrees. I think it's just a little cooler. Just had one uh, quick, very important view dedication I wanted to get out. Not so much for someone who's donated to the hike in the traditional sense of the word, but for someone who's donated to the hike in, in every possible other imaginable sense. And that's my beautiful wife, Daphne. I don't get enough of these out for her. And uh, really, I can't think of a, a better or more fitting spot. Not so much because it's called Bighorn. <laughs> Sorry, baby. But, uh, but because it's probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, ooh. Yeah, it's just, it's just really, really, really special out here. And, uh, you know, I wish I could bring you all these mountains, baby, but thanks so much for letting me be out here. Hopefully this view vacation does something for you, so. Amazing. Just 360. All right, love you, babe. guys 122 in the afternoon 41 point what did I say nine I think 49 41.9 degrees we've made it to home for the night um, our plan was to stop at the last stopping point closest to 1 p.m. Um, and we actually made it here like about noon and good thing we did if you can't tell because there is definitely some weather coming in um, there had been some forecasts for maybe rain or something I don't really know I don't even know what elevation we're at we're about four miles, four and a half, five miles or something like that from uh, Forester Pass. It's right up there someplace. Um, planning on getting there early in the morning. We're going to have to really see how this weather shakes out. Um, but luckily, we made it to camp in time pretty much for everyone to be, I'd say, pretty much as, as buttoned up as you could realistically hope for. So, obviously, here's Rabbit here. Here's my tent here. And, uh, of course, we got shade up top side up here. Everyone was able to get their little... Their little uh, flat tent, tent pads, if you will, sort of dug out um, and at least get a jump on getting their bunks and tents all squared away. Uh, yeah, I mean, 120, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to have all night to uh, warm up, eat some food. Hopefully this kind of blows through, but who in the world even knows? I mean, the past like week or two, week and a half or so, there there have definitely been these sorts of squalls in the general area, these sort of afternoon thunderstorms and stuff like that, just typical mountain afternoon thunderstorm business. Um, but usually... For my observation, it hasn't lasted more than like an hour or two. Um, but I've also never been at this elevation in these mountains uh, for one of these. So we'll kind of see how it all shakes out. But, um, you know, here's hoping for the best. Hopefully the weather doesn't doesn't affect anything too negatively for tomorrow. Um, but I'll be paying attention. I mean, I'll be paying attention for sure. Oh, a couple interesting notes. Turns out, turns out Shade had a birthday like, what, five days ago or something? Five, what did she say? Five days ago? Something like that. Um, so happy birthday, Shade. Yay. She's kind of flopping in her tent right now. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, dude, the morning crossing, Whitney. Um, Whitney Creek. Yeah. Rabbit just looked up and shook his head. Do you want to say anything about it? Uh, if you're not busy. I mean, if you're busy. Yeah, no. Um, it, was, it was fine, but it was very cold, and it was worse than we first thought when we got there. We got there, it was like, like, oh, this is shallow, super wide, not flowing very fast. And then it was just so cold and like waist deep in some parts, at least on me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was rough. But yeah. It was right. So we had heard that it was like a terrifying thing and we got there and we we're like, nah, that doesn't look too, I mean, it looks uncomfortable, but it doesn't look too bad. And then, you know, we all like pretty much went down to our underwear and 
uh, I think I had camp shoes. You did you have something on your neoprene feet? socks? Neoprene socks, and then Shade was just barefoot, crazy monster. <laughs> um, yeah, and and we went through, and yeah, it was it was it was never like fast flowing. I wish I could have gotten video of it. It was never like fast, but it was definitely real cold. Oh yeah. And, and yeah. Channels of deep water. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like flooded out, almost like flooded out meadow or something. Uh -huh. With those deep sort grassy. of alpine channel areas. And those deep alpine channel areas were, yeah, I mean, probably at their deepest, maybe three and a half, maybe four mm -hmm. feet. But mm -hmm. we, we took care to try and avoid those. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it was exciting. And then freezing cold on the other yeah. side as we put our stuff back on. So that was cool. Um, that was definitely cool. We had two or three other sort of crossings today, but none of them involved getting wet. We were able to find snow bridges and, and the like um, and get across safely and happily and, and dryly. So that was all really good. Um, oh, I didn't mention in yesterday's video, I found someone's Garmin on trail. So I sent a message to them and now I'm carrying it out. I lost my Garmin, Garmin for a few days yes, uh, last year on the CDT and my buddy 700 scooped it up. So i um, happy to be able to return this favor. Hopefully that person is uh, gonna be in Bishop or whatever. I don't know, we'll find a way to get it back to them. Um, Anything else? Oh, I also didn't mention that like three days ago my left trekking pole strap broke. So I've been using it without its strap, which is driving me completely insane. Completely insane. But hopefully it'll be all right. Should be fine. If anything had to break, I'm glad it was that. So I think that's all I got. Enough rambling. I'm gonna get my bunk all squared away, get some dinner going, hang out with these cool dudes, and uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Forrester Pass. Where's their back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Highest point on the PCT tomorrow morning. Woo.